Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillah, we're going to look at uh, points from Fihi Zikrakum book by scholar Ustaza Nikat Hashmi. Alhamdulillah, review and self assessment points. This book is an amazing book. It's complementary to the Quran. It's, um, it reviews each and every ruku and highlights the points in the ruku. Then it has a um, section where our bond with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, how it should be. And then it has a section on what are we to do after reading this ruku uh, and then it has self-assessment points i hope that everyone has their notebooks we'll go through these points inshallah ta'ala um, do i believe that number one no one knows when the day of judgment will be except allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yes no partly mostly point number two whoever comes before allah with a good deed will receive a better reward Whoever comes with an evil deed will be punished only for what he has done. This is the generosity of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do we believe in this statement? This is uh, Surah Al-Qasas, Surah number 28, Ayat number 84. Yes, no, partly, mostly. We go to point number three. The example of those who take allies other than Allah is like that of the spider who takes or constructs a home and indeed the weakest of homes is the home of the spider if they only knew surah number 29 ayat number 41 surah uh, an kabut alhamdulillah do we believe that uh, taking other gods besides allah making them your allies um is a very weak proposition a very weak connection and it allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives that analogy with a spider's web do we believe that there is no strength there is no benefit yes no partly mostly we go on to uh, point number four inshallah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the only one who can strengthen the believers allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the only one who can make believers strong alhamdulillah we believe in this statement yes no partly mostly we go to point number five. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala responds to the desperate one when he calls upon him. When we're desperate, when we're in difficulty, when we are in a very big confusion, a big test, do we call upon, upon Allah and do we believe that Allah responds? Yes, no, partly, mostly. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has perfected all things with wisdom. We're looking at point number six. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala perfected all things with wisdom. Do I believe this statement? Yes, no, partly, mostly. Looking at point number seven now, do I believe that judgment and knowledge is bestowed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on his selected people? Alhamdulillah. Yes, no, partly, mostly. Next, point number eight. Do I believe that I should not help the wrongdoers? Do I believe that wrong when somebody is doing wrong, that I should not help them? Yes, I, I believe this statement. No, partly, mostly. Uh, we are going to go to point number nine, inshallah ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a witness to every agreement and everything that is said. Every agreement that is made, every contract that is signed, everything that we say, is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala witness to it? How much do, of this do we believe? Yes, no, partly, mostly. We go on to point number 10. Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows those who will have a good end. How we will die, in what state we will die, will we die in a good state? What will be our end? Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows those who will have a good end. Yes, no, partly, mostly. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to understand his messages, his verses, his beautiful revelation. Uh, Ameen. May Allah bless you. May Allah guide you. May Allah protect you always. Ameen. Um, Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika. Nashadu an la ilaha illa anta. Nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum. Rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.